Hello, a super fast lecture capture. E -e -e, the Arabinos operon has dual positive and negative control. A single DNA binding protein can act as either a repressor or an activator depending on the expression of the Arabinos, the sugar, or the inducer. Okay? The RSC protein is the DNA binding protein. The sugar, arabinose, is the one that determines whether it's a repressor or an activator. So let's take a look, shall we? Yes. So here's the arabinose operon. In this case, you'll notice the order, operator, control initiator site, and structural genes B, A, and D. Interesting. B, okay. The control gene, or the regulatory gene, has its own promoter, is constitutively active, which means we always get uh, transcription. What do we can get transcription of? The RSC protein. Okay, so that we always, always, always have that. The control sites, the operator, and then the initiator, which also contains the promoter. So we can... Give this the initiator with the promoter, right? That's why I wrote a little P there. And so in this case, the promoter, that right there, would be what? Where? What's going to happen there? Yeah, that's going to be where sigma and RNA polymerase land, right, on the promoter. So the operator's on the opposite side in the rabinose operon. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So if we have arabinose present right there, this top section is what happens. Always getting transcription of the RSC protein. If there's arabinose present, it binds to RSC and it binds to this initiator region, which contains the promoter. In that case, nothing binds the operator and RNA polymerase can come on in sit down, right, up here or down there, right, grab onto the promoter, RNA polymerase, and yay, we get transcription. So when arabinose is present, we get transcription. That suggests that these genes are involved in the metabolism or catabolism of arabinose, breakdown, catabolism. Right? Because if it's if it's there and we turn stuff on, that must mean, ooh, we need to come back and get arabinose. So we want to break it down. If there's no arabinose present, remember this guy's always made, right? So we're getting right here's the promoter, here's the RSC protein. It will translocate because it's transacting, bind the initiator site just like it does here. But without arabinose attached, it also binds to the operator. How? By bending the DNA. It can contact its DNA binding on this side and DNA binding on that side. You notice here that arabinose is binding the side that's supposed to bind to the operator. That changes the overall structure, the conformational change of the tertiary structure of the RSC protein. It can't function the same way. It can't bind the operator. Without arabinose, grabs the operator DNA sequence, the cis-acting sequence, grabs the initiator cis-acting sequence, RNA polymerase, and sigma are sad because they can't bind, and we get no transcription. If there's no arabinose around, we don't need transcription because we don't need to break anything down because it doesn't exist. And there you have it. That's the arabinose operon. Quick and easy. Thank you.